Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to have a special blog for you, the top five hybrid trailer libraries available in our shop and how you can use them to make a quick hybrid trailer track. Let's check them out. All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you my top five favorite libraries in our shop for trailer hybrid music. Actually, I'm going to do six, but we'll just pretend it's five. So I'll tell you first what the libraries are, and then I'll show you exactly how I use them to create a nice hybrid trailer track in a very short amount of time. So the first one is Trailer Expressions 2 by Sample Logic. The second is Collision Effects from Sound Yeti. Third is Adam from Audio Modern. Fourth is Cinematic Guitars Infinity, again by Sample Logic. And then the fifth and sixth are both from Keep Forest. Um, the Evolution, right here I have Evolution Atlantica. In the shop we have Evolution Dragon, Atlantica, and then also Keep Forest Vikings. So I used both of those inside of this track. So. I'll show you how I use them and for first let's listen to the track and then I'll show you what I did with each of these. All I added on top was a little bit of strings to kind of flesh everything out. So there you have it. I made that in less than an hour. In the past uh, half hour to 45 minutes, I just made that using only the libraries I showed you. And, um, of course, those strings I also showed you up there. So let's go into it, shall we? I start off the track with a drone from Trailer Expressions 2. Um, if you don't know this library, it's got a lot of really cool sounds um, not just like melodic stuff, but like trailer hits, those huge, massive um, whooshes, transitions, big risers, um, like some really distorted and aggressive horror type sounds. It's got a lot of percussive and tonal elements, but I use it here in the track as a really nice rumbling drone. So Sample Logic teamed up with Boom Library, um, which fo they focus on, you know, like Foley sounds and everything like that. So it's a collaboration between Boom and Sample Logic, and you get some really cool sounds. So Sample Logic um, has like this beautiful engine, and then, you know, they collaborate with Boom so they could get like these huge percussive hits, um, like metallic sounds, really aggressive distorted sounds as well. This one has different drones mapped to um, different keys across the keyboard. So 
So you get like a lot of, you can kind of tell some of these are very organic and metallic in nature or, you know, some of them are really ambient. It sounds like you're kind of capturing a room tone. So I really like this collection here. You can adjust the sample start time for anything. It's got a really nice visual layout for that. So throughout the song, I use that really deep drone that's, you know, it's, it really sets the tone. It's got a nice rumbly bass line. Or not bass line, but nice rumbling bass for the track. Next, I use Sound Yeti Collision Effects. Now, this collection is really cool, um, and it's got a lot, a whole ton of content. So you have these collision effects themes, and then you have environments, movement stingers, tempo six sequences, textures. So there is a ton of sound effects, but there's also, you know, percussive hits. There's these tempo sync sequences, which are kind of, you know, pulsing, grooving type sounds. So they have like almost rhythmic loops and everything. All I used for this was this collision effects theme called Trailer Jumpstart. And this has different sounds mapped to the entire range of the keyboard. Honestly, this collection is one I've been using since almost day one of my, you know, ventures as a composer because it's just got so much stuff. Um, and there's a really cool space designer in here and different effects. You can do all of this in real time. It's really deep. But also, if you just want to load up one of these themes and just go with it, you get some really cool sounds. You can get those risers like you heard in there as well. So this is what I did with collision effects throughout this track. So you can hear there, um, this one down here, it has that those really cool wind chimes, which is kind of creepy. Um, so I use like, you know, these big percussive hits from that, as well as, the, you know, a little whoosh sound in there, a little reverse riser type sound. Next up, let's go to Adam, which is from Audio Modern. This is a sound design toolkit. Mostly from here, I use the melodic elements. So here I used just a, a key, a keyboard instrument to do a sort of a ping sound. So also in the intro, I have a, what they call an alarm from uh, Keep Forest Evolution. To me, it sounds more like a, a kind of a drone, um, but this is what it does. And then finally for that intro, I have another uh, a synth from Adam, the Audio Modern Library, and this is, a, it's a sound I really love. Oops, wrong instrument. Sound I really love, and it sounds like this. So it's got that really long tail. So this is right here, just these five layers, how I use just these libraries to create a really nice intro for my little hybrid track, all done. Uh, within 45 minutes so this is what the intro sounds like with all of those layers I just showed you So 
So already we have a really nice uh, layering there. The foundation is solid because these sounds are just so good. Now I go on to the next portion of the track. Now here I introduce a couple new elements. One is from, again, Audio Modern Atom, which I used a sequence, which is basically an arpeggiated sequence like this. So it's just very simple uh, holding specific chords here at a very low dynamic setting. And it sounds like this. The other new element I introduced here is Cinematic Guitars Infinity, which is a massive, massive library. And this short demo will not do it justice because there's so much stuff here. Now with Cinematic Guitars Infinity, you get uh, basically four different libraries in one because you get Cinematic Guitars 1, 2, and 3, and then Cinematic Guitars Infinity, and all these different instruments for each one with um, you know the really nice sample logic engine with the four cores going on. You get percussives, uh, tonal elements, one-shot instruments, playable instruments, um, and you know really cool loops. I think right here I used the loop and it sounds like this. So once I introduced the Atom sequence and then that Cinematic Guitars Infinity loop, I used a pulse stem instrument from Keep Forest Vikings, um, another really great instrument. Um, I did mention the Keep Forest libraries before. So the Evolution, the Dragon, and Atlantica, those are part of the Evolution series. Those are um, really modern, aggressive, um, kind of sci-fi, very synthetic. And the Vikings is more organic in nature. Um, think, you know, like the Vikings TV show or Game of Thrones or something like that. So they're going to have like war horns. And of, of course, they've got, you know, some modern sound design elements with the synths and everything. But for the most part, Vikings is more organic. And you've got like these big percussive hits. They also have a metal toolkit with um, really nice guitars. Um, so, you know, the Vikings is more this alternative uh punk and metal stuff with some old school historic sounds and then evolution is more modern and um more like a sci-fi trailer campaign so this is what vikings is doing here it's called the pulse um pulse stem instrument So with that going there, let's combine that with the Atom sequence and then the Cinematic Guitars loop and it sounds like this. So for that section, we've already heard the intro with all of the layers. Now we have the, um, just here's the verse in the middle with all of the layers activated. So again, the only instrument I used that was not included in our shop is these Hans Zimmer strings down here, um, just to flesh it out a bit, and they just they just do that. It's it's very simple. I didn't even edit the velocities there at all. 
Um, so then we go on to the final section. Now, what I introduced in this final section is some of the pulses from Keep Forest Evolution, which I said before was like the more modern sounding alternative to Vikings. And then at the end, I have a big Brahm from Evolution Dragon. No, excuse me, Evolution Atlantica as well. So I do think, I know we talked about the evolution a little bit in our video game series videos, but again, it's just such a modern and really nice sounding instrument straight out of the gate. It's why it's been used on, you know, so many trailer campaigns and everything. Um, it just sounds amazing and it works. Now also introduced into this final segment was, again, um, another thing from Adam which was, I'll show you real quick, it was just kind of a one note pad here. It's actually, I think, it, if not the same, then very similar to what I used here. Yeah, you can tell there, it's the same sound, but I just held it out here. I didn't even need another instance for it there. Um, and then finally, Another loop from Cinematic Guitars Infinity. So very percussive there. Um, I use Cinematic Guitars Infinity mostly for the percussive elements here because the loops just sound so good and they just add such a nice groove to it. But Cinematic Guitars Infinity also has a lot of really good pads and kind of beautiful sounds as well and melodic sounds. So combining everything along with the strings, this is what that final section sounds like. So there you have it. That was about a minute and 30 second cue made in under an hour, under 45 minutes using 99% libraries that you can buy in the audio plugin deals shop. And these are my personal favorites um, that I've used for years. Even before I knew about the APD shop, I always loved these libraries. Keep Forest an amazing company. Of course, Sample Logic. The Atom from Audio Modern, Collision Effects from Sound Yeti, which I feel like is a hidden gem because not many people use this one, and then of course Trailer Expressions 2 from Sample Logic and Boom Library. Now, I only touched on a very small amount from each of these libraries, but this is really in context um, immediately how you can do this to get results quickly and good results too. So there you have it, the top five, my personal top five favorite trailer hybrid libraries with the six thrown in uh, for the Vikings from Keep Forest as well as the Evolution. So uh, thanks so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please, if you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, um, help support us because uh, we always come back with videos just like this and we go live and do giveaways and with our live streams and everything. Um, so please stay tuned for more. This has been Brian, Audio Plugin Deals. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.